Hello everyone, this is Dazza and just starting the game up again. This is part three of uh, taking a look at Fallout 76. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to follow the map on the bottom or the, uh, the compass and see what we can find. I'm also going to get myself killed at some point of this video just so we can get an idea of what the implications are and the consequences <coughs> excuse me right so a lumber mill oh well, we got a little bit of XP for finding this which is always nice to have and um, what I'm really looking forward to, to getting my hands on if I can find something no, there's nothing here of interest it's all pretty nice pictures scenery I want to get inside how do we get inside ah that's how we get inside there's not much to get inside off though and as you can see in the top corner as well I've noticed it says first contact track down the overseer okay well that'll happen when it happens I'm not gonna go out of my way for it Tinker's workbench. This is what the Tinker's workbench looks like. Okay, well, let's see what we can craft here. I think the obvious thing at a glance is bullets, ammo. Hey, there you go. So, find gunpowder in there. Okay, once you found gunpowder, you can craft it from the chemistry station. Okay, well, uh, look at the Tinker's at the moment. Q craftable items. Railway spikes. Okay. We can make railway spikes. But the thing is, we don't have a gun to file railway spikes with. But we'll assemble them all the same. We've got the steel. Uh, space to make. Uh, hey, hey. We've made them. We got a little bit of XP. Okay, good for us. We can make stuff if we have the right items. If we don't, then there's not much we can do. Okay, that box is empty. I want to find something of use. Please just give me a stick or a bar or an axe, a hammer, something I can wield as a weapon. That's really what I'm looking for. I'm not seeing anything obvious though. What's in here? Nothing in there, nothing in there. Okay, let's have a look up the ladder then. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, uh, uh. No, nothing here. Oh, what's this box? No, it's just a an air conditioning fan. Well, this location is a bit of an anticlimax. Okay, so we found the, the tinkering bench, which is always nice to know. It's something I haven't seen before. I uh, made some spikes, which I well, can't really use at the moment, but you never know, they'll come in handy in the future. Let's see. If we, oh, ah, a farm. Yes, on the compass at the bottom there. There's a farm. And it's quite close. Let's go there. We might be able to interact with someone else or something else. Oh. Ah, fence is in the way. We've got to go around the fence. Ah. The fence is broken here. That's, that's not too difficult. Oh, what do we have here? Is that someone else? Oh. Was. <laughs> okay, never mind. Let's head on closer in and maybe it'll tell us we've found a new place. Yep. Wixen Homestead. He's got another tinkering place. That's gunfire. Adjustable work wrench. Let's 
someone's got a gun. I want a gun. Uh, friend or foe? Hey, he's friend. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I thought I was a gunner then. I'm impressed you got a gun. Anyway, good luck. I'm just doing a bit of a bit of a tour at the moment to try and figure out what's going on. Ah, invite me to trade. Well, unfortunately, I don't have anything to trade back with at the moment. I haven't got much at all. But hey. Right, okay, space to accept trade. Not a problem. Uh, there we go. Hmm. Well, I don't have any cash, so I can't buy anything, unfortunately. I've got no caps at the moment. But, uh, if there's anything that you want to mine, you're welcome to have it. So this is how we exchange stuff with, uh, with other people. Hmm, interesting. I really don't know what I'm doing at this stage, unfortunately. But hey. Seems to have made a trade. Well, I hope it's what you're looking for. Thank you very much. Take care, buddy. I'm going to go for a wander. Good luck. looks hostile but got it this guy is gonna kill me I can punch him but not very well he's quite evasive but he's got a gun and there you go I'm critically injured to be honest, that's what I wanted to happen. I wanted to see what was going to happen. It says call for help as well, which is quite fascinating. But I'm going to let myself bleed out and see what becomes of a fatal injury. It says tab to give up. Okay, well, let's do that then. The space to respawn. Okay. That's interesting someone is actually wanted and there's a wanted note on the map there you can see in red number 10 says ah select respawn location well the Wixton homestead was fatal for me and I didn't really find much well, apart from that guy who was quite friendly but let's see if we can use this as an opportunity to spawn somewhere else if it will let us I don't even know what my choices are they only going to be places that I've already discovered I think so okay so we could go back to here as a spawn point spawn point or even up back up here and then head to that lighthouse and see what that's all about could be something interesting there let's do that so Spawn here three caps. Okay, well, I think we've got three caps. Let's do that. Yes. Now, that picture was a bit misleading, but never mind. 
Okay, so we're back at this place. It says, retrieve your dropped loot. Oh. So, if you die, your body stays where it is and all your stuff is left on your corpse. Oh. Okay. That reminds me of an old game, EverQuest, which getting your corpse back and getting your stuff back was an absolute bind of the game. No one ever enjoyed that feature at all. But we're going to go east now. We're going to say forget the items that were on that corpse if there is anything. Because we're just interested in exploring at the moment. And the funny thing is when you die and you start again, your health is full and your radiation sickness is gone. <laughs> Not such a bad thing. So death has its benefits. So I said we we're going to go to that lighthouse and that's the direction we're going. Now one thing I haven't realised with this game at the moment is the duration for night and day. It can't be a real 24 hours. It's going to have to be shorter than that. Okay, so we're getting close. Ah, I can see it. I can see the top there now. The question is how do we get to it? Okay, let's go around this way and see if it leads us to it. See if we can climb up here. Uh, it's looking possible. It is. We're seeming to be heading that way. Are we going to get up there? Is it going to let us? I think it is. Hey, we have found the lighthouse. Oh, God, that made me jump. <laughs> Oh no, that's not what we wanted. Level 9? Did that say level 9? That's another certain death for me if I'm not. Right, I'm struggling to kill this in level 1. and I've, But the level 9 is just going to put me to bed, unfortunately. Uh, again, tab, give up again. Uh, Right, space to respawn. Okay. So, I'm going to go back here. I'm guessing if I go back here, it's not going to cost me anything. Right, yeah, okay. I can respawn back at my vault for free. So, I think it's essential to get a gun pretty damn quickly. How I go about getting one... I'm not too sure. There you go. There's a new guy as well. New kid on the block. So. Let's go back down here again. And see if we can find something. Oh. <laughs> oh God. I've only found this at the beginning. So there we have it. We got some rounds. We got our gun. Uh, it's only a pipe pistol, but hey. Alright, we want to take them all. And what we want to do is we want to make sure we're using it. So we go to item. We go to weapons. It's a pipe pistol. A baseball grenade. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, hold mouse 2 to aim, mouse 1 to shoot. Okay, and what about this one? Press Q to activate VATS, Alt L to bash. Of course, VATS. Yeah, I forgot all about that. Okay. 
let's go and shoot something. Right, so down here, if memory serves me well. Yeah, Q. 11%. Oh, well, that's not all that good. Uh, uh Q. Hey, I shot it. is all over the place right okay now return oh tap to return oh I'm out of ammo Okay, so too many hostiles, not enough ammunition. Still not figured out how to use vats properly. And guess what? Yeah, we're gonna be dead again. Give up. And we're back here again. As you can see, the game is promising, but in some aspects frustrating. I think hand-to-hand -hand combat, trying to punch things, is tricky because they keep moving, which to be honest, I don't blame them. But also trying to retrieve miscellaneous drop loot when you've got a, a nasty walking around your corpse that you can't kill. Um, I don't really rate that. I don't think that's a great feature that's going to be in this game. That's really going to annoy a lot of people, especially beginners. So what I'm doing now is I'm just wandering now. Just so we can take in the landscape and see where it leads us. And just say, well, you've had a teaser as to what the game is like, what it looks like, what you can and can't do from the beginning. And just how easy it is to die. And a quick look at the graphics. Now these graphics are not at its best. I'm sure they'll look a lot better at a high performance. I'm trying to punch his frog, don't ask me why. <laughs> and it keeps moving out of the way. Yay! Did I hit it? Well, if I did, it didn't do any harm to it. What is this? Barbecue. I'm sure to say it was.
So what I plan to do is I'm going to play this game and see if I can get somewhere and see if I can get to a point where I can show you something that's worthwhile watching. Oh. Okay. Now this is the plane that you see in the beginning. <laughs> Very nice. Complete with a zombie over there. And then maybe I'll make a part four um, and show you some seriously good stuff and maybe have a look at some of the ammunitions and some of the armor and so on and take it from there. Thank you for watching.